Hello there everybody, I'm Brix here, back with another LEGO related video, and sorry again, I don't have my microphone, and I don't have a studio, because I have just moved. And, um, okay, so, in one of my previous videos, my huge six months worth of LEGO haul, yeah, that was a really big one, I got the complete LEGO Dimensions collection. Not only did I want to show you guys how I sorted through it and all of that, but I wanted to talk to you guys a bit about why I got into LEGO Dimensions, and I know that it's super unpopular, so I'm just going to clear that up, and um, I'm going to show kind of how I sorted this and all of that. So, uh, yeah, let's begin. So, uh, okay, this is what got me uh, into buying LEGO Dimensions. I went on to LEGO.com, uh, as from time to time, about once every two weeks, I go on to LEGO.com to see... If they have any promotion, like spend this much, get this item free, which is the, like, that's when I buy stuff. I plan it around the promotional items and, um, I couldn't find anything. So I went, and this was a while back, two months ago, maybe. So then I went into the sales section because Lego.com does have that. Usually it just has like the costumes and non Lego stuff. And I saw Lego Dimensions, usually it's $60. I saw it for, on the Wii U, $40. And I was like, uh, that's still kind of much. Let me check the, uh, sorry, let me check Amazon. Uh, yeah, I checked Amazon. Uh, also, I think it was around $40, but then I checked Walmart.com. On the PS4 and Xbox 360, there it's $40, but I found it for $20 on the Wii U. That is a great deal in my opinion, brand new. Uh, so, yeah, I went ahead and I ordered it. And then, uh, on eBay... I was looking to just buy, like, a lot of it. Like, um, on eBay, you can find lots. Not, like, if you know what I mean, like, the format of buying. Not a lot, like, the original definition, if you will. So, um, I found a bidding one, and the bid was kind of cheap. You know, it started at $100 for 55 minifigures. And I was like, hey, maybe I can do this. I'll pay 150 and get all these figures. And I know that the in-game content, as I've heard a lot of people say, is pretty lacky, but... You know the figures I've uh, the figures I've seen and they're really cool. So let me get it anyway. There was a glitch in the eBay system. I was the highest bidder. I was willing to pay a hundred fifty, where the guy before me paid like one forty six, and each bid has to be three dollars above. So I was actually four dollars above. Um, but it didn't work out. But then um, it, so I would have paid one fifty. Sorry, I would have paid one fifty, but so then we contacted the seller. I even said I was willing to pay two hundred dollars, which is actually a bit much, but I said that anyway. And it was twenty, uh, including shipping, so I was only going to pay like thirty dollars more, so two hundred total for the lot that I didn't win. Uh, there's a total of seventy four figures in the Lego Dimension series, including exclusives. Uh, so uh, let's get this straight. The first slot didn't include any exclusives, just the normals. The only outstanding one that they had was probably Sonic. He's kind of relatively rare. Everyone wants him. But um, anyway, so um, I went to the second lot and I actually, uh, I found a buy it now. All the buy it nows that are like, or make offers that um, on eBay that are for the complete collection are upwards of $700. I went to everyone I found, I made an offer, $350, and I could not believe that someone actually accepted, so I was so shocked, and then I did it anyway, so that's how I got this, and, okay, so, $200, right, maybe it's a good thing it didn't work, because the original lot was $200, this I got for $350, but it's the complete collection, so, let's see, why did I pay $150 more? First of all, it would have had 20 more figures, so, let's say I'll give it $300, and then I'll give it the $50 for the two exclusives. Okay, now um, if you saw my haul video that I've talked about earlier in this video, the six months worth of Lego haul, then you, you might have noticed like I hinted at like how bad this was packed, and it really was. Like all these were in pieces, and it's so hard because these are a bunch of builds that are each like 30 pieces, and they're like 80 builds, so that's around like, uh, like two, sorry, and that's around like, I don't know, like, uh, let's say around 2,000 pieces, unless I'm off and it's 200, sorry. But, um, yeah, so I had to sort through those, and the instructions, as you, if you know, uh, for LEGO Dimensions, are actually, they just show ads. The instructions are in-game, so I had to go online and find all the instructions, that was a hassle. But, uh, let's get into actually how I sorted this whole thing. So, again, it's gonna be kind of messy, and the volume... Is probably gonna be super low, 
because uh, I don't have a microphone, but yeah, it's going to be lower than this because right now I'm really close, but now I'm going to go all the way up there. If you don't know, it's super far away because just because I don't have the studio set up. So yeah, let's begin. I'm going to peel some stuff off of this. Okay, so starting off, we got this. I'm just gonna yeah start peeling with this. Okay, let's try to get that nicely in the camera and all. Sorry about this again, sloppy for the most part video. So in the very top, and the containers were the ones the seller sent me. Seller sent me, and the very top, I just got the instruction manuals, which aren't actual instruction manuals, more advertisements. Oh, sorry. I almost forgot before we get into that about why I bought these used. It's just so much cheaper to buy used. Like the complete collection sealed is like one thousand five hundred dollars. I got it for three fifty, so it's so much cheaper. And I do not buy like go used. It's one of my my rules. I buy video games used though. That's another one of my rules because it doesn't really matter for video games. You can easily reset them. So I kind of cheated with myself. I kind of said that. Uh, Lego Dimensions is technically a video game, so I did buy these used, and, um, so, uh, the only things that I was worried about was, you know, I, I had to buy the starter pack new, because, first of all, this, the seller gave me the PS4 one, but, um, you know, I already ordered it from Walmart, and it was so cheap, and that's not why I bought this lot, I didn't buy it for the starter pack, I'd be fine if it wasn't even included, and I'm gonna sell that again on eBay, the PS4 one, so I could probably make, like, Maybe twenty dollars off that, so I basically got the star pack for the Wii U that I ordered for free in this lot as well. Okay, um, and the only other thing that is a real problem with buying used for me is I collect boxes. So yeah, it was it's kind of hard because especially Lego Dimensions, like on the side of the boxes they have the characters in the fun pack, so that looks super cool all lined up. So that's one of the things I'm missing out on. But okay, in the first in the top, sorry, I have. The instructions, and then let me just bring these this whole thing closer to us. Okay, and then a layer up, and again, sorry about the bad lighting. I'm not in the studio, but a layer up. We've got just the spare pieces that came with this. Yeah, I think like one or two pieces are missing from some of these builds, and then the figures are like completely, like almost all of them are missing accessories. So. Then I got spare pieces, and now in these next three kind of tubs, I've got in the year one stuff. So this is all the year one vehicles. So they all have the blue toy tags. And I think, okay, I'll, um, this was amazing. Like, even if this wasn't used, even if this was new, there were so many complaints about the year two stuff not working. Every single figure in this lot works, except Doc Brown from year one, so that was kind of odd. Three generic toy tags, not figure Terry tags, thankfully, and one, uh, one year one toy tag, so that is super fortunate for me. And then the next three tubs are the year two vehicles. They are less, but let's get that stuff to the side. And then figures. This is the year one figures. And this is the year two figures. I like the year two figures a lot more. But, um, yeah, so I'm so thankful that, oh my god, sorry about that lighting. It's just from the wind. I'm going to get curtain, but again, I just moved in here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so uh, I'm so thankful that barely any of these figures are broken. Only one, and then four generic toy tags are broken. So I'm so happy about that. Um, by the way... All of this, don't expect a review soon. So, I have a review lineup in my head already. If you saw that, again, haul video, which I'm going to keep mentioning, um, I got a bunch of sets, obviously. I'm going to have to review all of those first. And then, by that time, I'm assuming that it will be July, because, you know, I'm going to make less videos because of the move, which I'll have to make another video explaining that. But by that time, I'm going to finish reviewing all the stuff I got by July. And then, in July, a bunch of new stuff is going to come out. I'm going to get that stuff after I review all that, then I'm going to review all this. And after I review all this, if you guys want, I'm pro I might do gameplay. It's just because if you're thinking of buying this, you know, that's a huge aspect. Like, $15 for one figure and one side build obviously isn't worth it without the gameplay. So I might also 
uh, show you guys the gameplay in separate videos. But, uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you liked it. And if you did, please subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.